So uh, I think, like I said, we always talk about, I always talk about DIY loop and how to, um, how to set it up and things like that. But today we're sort of going into a more collaborative approach and talking about how HCPs can assist people that choose to use DIY. And this is, I think, a very important topic because um, at least in India, we found that, you know, a lot of times there is a gap between what the HCPs can provide for the patients who are with type 1 and their sort of uh, will to start looping. And um, I'm going to share a few tips and tricks that I feel and I have found very useful when I began my looping journey and how all the doctors listening today um, can actually support their patients that come in who choose to loop. So I think it's very uh, the, the basic fundamental of this concept is for the HCPs to this is I where, this is where I would start right that. I think understanding the concept first and foremost is the most important part. Um, maybe a few HCPs are not aware about the looping concept, which is totally fine. But understanding the concept first and then really believing in the system. So understanding the concept is one thing, but truly believing that it is something that can change lives. It is something that can improve quality of life of a lot of people is very, very important. And then giving and highlighting the options to people living with diabetes. Um, now, I know that it is a little bit complex and maybe there are a few healthcare professionals who may not be that tech savvy again, which is totally fine. But um, it is still important that uh, one must highlight that these are the options available. A lot of time what happens and what I have personally seen is that a lot of people with diabetes just don't know about looping and they haven't heard about it from the healthcare fraternity. So I think this is especially true for India and I would like to uh, mention that this is coming from a very personal experience also that I think um, doctors and, and educators and guides should be able, even if they don't know how to set it up, they should highlight the options to people living with diabetes and then signpost them to resources and people. So let's say I don't know how to set up a loop system. It's okay, but I will connect my patient with somebody who does know how to set up the loop system. And I think that's very important to create a network of support and to create a network of people and collaborators who together can work towards this. So I think that's the biggest and the most fundamental thing. One is to understand the concept believe in the system, believe that this is something revolutionary, give options to people with diabetes. When they come into your clinic, give them the option as we give the options for there is a pen system, there is a pump system. I think there is a very important option that you need to give that there is a loop option also available. And then if somebody is interested in looping, then you signpost them to the resources, you signpost them to people, let them connect with each other and take this journey on. Um, so the biggest thing is, like I said, understanding the concept, what is DIY looping and what does it do? So getting the basics of the understanding, which is that it is a system wherein you hack your pump and your CGM to make them talk to each other. And you, uh, it makes decisions on itself based on the inputs that you put in as a user, which are things like ISF and ICR and uh, suspend threshold and target range and things like that. Then you also, I would say, understanding the concept also requires you to understand the tech that is required. So yes, a person who wants to loop will require a pump for sure and a CGM for sure. And then based on the different system that they are on, they would require a third party, maybe a radio frequency device or sometimes an Android phone or sometimes they'd have to build their own rig. But just having like a quick chart that tells you that, okay, this is the hardware that is required. This is the software that is required for somebody to start looping. Again, you don't have to know it. I understand that you may not have the time to actually understand the nitty gritties of the coding bit of it, but just to broadly understand what is required. Also, as a, as a healthcare professional, because DIY is not FDA approved, it's also important to understand the risks, but at the same time, also understand the benefits. So, uh, you know, and this is something that you very cautiously tell your patients also that, yeah, there are risks involved that, you know, this is not FDA approved. There's no like customer helpline available 24 seven, but you also need to tell them that there are a lot of, lot of benefits, which is like 90% time in range, frequency of hypos decreased and things like that. So this is the broad understanding of the concept that I would recommend for the HCPs that are watching this. 
but i was talking about making them aware of the options right so when making them aware of the options like there are loop either you can take you can take open aps you can take android aps or you can take the new free aps and you can these are the different software options that one can use to begin looping so it's very important that you tell them that this is not like you go and there's only one thing available there are different options for different people's needs for different people's budgets and for different people's lifestyles so um making your patient aware that they, these are what is available and again this is a very quick breakdown of the main three that are at, in the market right now which is open aps android aps and loop open aps is a, a system that runs on a small rig which you need to build yourself which has like a raspberry pi and things like that and works with legacy medtronic farms and any cgm Uh, and it can be set up using any type of computer so it's very important right because somebody may not have an apple computer but they might have like a dell computer so which one would they choose it's not practical for them to go buy a new laptop because that so or what they can get their hands on what they can acquire android aps uh, is an android only base so you need to have an android phone for this and it uses uh, the open aps algorithm and works with dana pumps rosh combo rosh inside legacy metronic pumps uh, via rally link and omni body ros via rally link as well and then the loop is an apple only framework that uses um an algorithm that runs with legacy metronic pumps omnipod xcom or metronic cgms and requires a third party radio frequency device to communicate between all you of course require an apple phone for that so again just having something like this with you in your clinic will help you distinguish and understand the characteristics of what it requires and then also it's very important to make your patients aware of the hardware and know the alternatives what we call jugaad in india so uh, you know for example to loop you don't require a dexcom only a libre with a third party transmitter like a miamia or a bluecon will also work um and also just know what are the pumps because uh, looping does not work diy looping does not work with newer metronic pumps they only work with the older models which have a lesser firewall so it's important to again i would suggest all clinics to have a chart of all the looping options what pumps are required what cgms are required what laptops are required so at a glance your patient can see the options then the biggest thing i would say like i would uh, if a if a healthcare professional does not know how to actually do the coding again which is totally okay um guide them to resources that can help them and the first three what i have mentioned are the best ones out there you can take a screenshot of this slide please do that um because these are resources that will really help they are very detailed they are very easy to understand so for looping it is the loopkit.github for open aps it is open aps.org and for android aps it is wiki.apps.app uh and then th those are the main uh like tutorialish uh websites then there are also great blogs that have gone into the details and given you other uh, tips and tricks so uh one of my favorite blogs for looping is diabetech it's run by a great great friend of mine he's absolutely fantastic he he himself uses android aps and he's great with tech so these are some resources that i personally as a user of diy loop also refer to time and again but i would i would really recommend you giving these to your patients if they want to loop these are some of the screenshots of what it looks like some of the documents uh, yes it is a little lengthy but it's a lengthy process so you need to sort of sit through this there are also a lot of youtube videos that you can recommend your patients if your patients are not ones who like to read so maybe a youtube video would be better we my, i have personally done one as well when i uh, it's a video of me setting up the whole um my loop system and then there are other videos uh wherein they give you more of a tutorial kind of a vibe so again give your uh patients these videos and ask them to go and see it a uh, biggest thing i would say and the biggest thing that helped me when i was looping is connecting them to people who loop and this changed my life right because they can really give you a user centric um advice about how to start looping and i was connected with a few people in the uk and i bothered them with every type of question the most serious questions to the most complex questions and because they had gone through this journey multiple times they were able to help so today when somebody asks me if they want to start looping i can help them because i have had the experience as well uh they can you know help them with the initial hand holding and help them set up the tech and they can guide with personal lived experience which i think is the most important one 
there are lots of social media groups which you can ask your patients to join. This is the one I am personally a part of. Thirty thousand other people are part of it, but it's called Looped, and this is only for people who are using Loop. But there are similar uh, Facebook groups for people who use Android APS and Open APS. So again, if somebody from your uh, centers want to start looping, ask them to go join these groups because these groups are active all the time. These are literally the customer helplines. uh which we don't have in the looping community this group becomes it so please do ask them to join these groups because you get the maximum detail from these groups so i would just like to conclude uh, by saying you know the first thing that at the end like for hcps don't resist and don't fear the technology uh sometimes what happens is when we personally don't understand something we we don't try, tend to recommend it because we are not too sure about it So I just want to say to all the HCPs out there, that's totally fine. I mean, you are doctors; you're not supposed to know technology and coding. But when this revolutionary thing has come out, uh, try not to resist it because uh, there are people who can support you. So again, you are still required to do the insulin dosing and the management and things like that. But we can get people who can help with the code and who can help with setting up the things like the DIY. Be cautious while explaining the risks. don't scare them that there's no helpline you are it's on your own yes but there are risks and you must explain those risks but also be optimistic while sharing the benefits because i feel in a risk benefit analysis if you do the benefits of diy looping are way higher than the risks and have allies who have lived experience like me for example if if there's a doctor that wants someone to start looping and they are they're not able to explain it get people who are looping to talk to them and that will really really help them because honestly like like i was talking about the risk benefit analysis this is the risk benefit analysis in front of you how looping drastically shifts one person's management is something that i have personally experienced and it is life changing and um, for to all the hcps who are a little bit um, you know who want to try something new i would say you know why don't you try setting up a loop system yourself uh, with all these resources so that even you know once you do it once then you're very comfortable to recommend it to someone uh, if not like i said there are always allies who are ready to help um so yeah i would just like to end by saying that diabetes has always been the do it yourself it's always been diy so let's use this technology to get the best quality of life for people who are living with type 1 diabetes thank you so much